So we have our next guest back from the town hall also on Monday. He was in St. Louis on Monday. Now he's back in Washington, D.C. His name is Ernest Bim, and he is with the America's Promise Alliance. That's an organization led by uh, General Colin Powell that is focused on a 90% high school graduation rate by 2020. Uh, General Powell not known for small goals, so we, we, like, we like the aspirations there. Um, I, one of the five promises of America's Promise Alliance is caring adults. Uh, what, what do you mean when you say caring adult? Because that might sound like, well, that's number five on the list, and uh, yeah, right, we, should, right. we, we should have caring adults. Let's put that on there. What, what do you mean by that? Why is that so important? Well, look, I mean, while the drop-off crisis is complex, uh, in, in order to truly ensure that the promise of America exists for every child, we know it's going to take better schools, safer and more engaged communities, young people who feel supported and inspired, and systems that are truly responsive to the needs of the underserved and marginalized communities. And we can achieve this using the five promises as a starting point. All young people have the potential to thrive academically, socially, civically, um, but you know, too many young people in America endure resource poor surroundings and environments that leave them with few, too few opportunities to engage with caring adults. So when a young person doesn't have a caring adult, we must be that adult. You know, one of the themes that resonated throughout the community town hall on uh, Monday night mm -hmm. was the importance of having an engaged, caring adult in the lives of our young people. Uh, when young people don't feel important or valued, or they don't see the connection between the classroom and their careers or even their community, we must offer that child opportunities to be affirmed. And this is where caring adults, whether it's a parent, a teacher, a mentor, uh, Dr. Bender or, <laughs> or whoever mm -hmm. can help bridge that gap in young people's lives. And, you know, we see this happening every day. Um, ordinary Americans are mentoring young people, providing opportunities to, you know, to explore careers. You know, um, any, anyone can uh, be great because anyone can serve. And, and we, we've seen that throughout the, throughout the country. I'm guessing not enough of us are doing it, though. Well, you know, um, everyone needs to get involved. I mean, a lot of times we, we have this tendency to think that education reform is the answer to the dropout crisis. And, and as I said, you know, good schools are essential. Um, but not alone sufficient. This isn't just a school's problem or a teacher's problem. It's, it's our problem. It's everyone's problem. We all need to get involved. What are you seeing? I, I know you travel the country, and I know you weren't in St. Louis for a long amount of time, but uh, through your involvement in the town hall, are you seeing anything unique going on in St. Louis? Anything, anything encouraging here in the St. Louis region? Well, you know, as you mentioned, I wasn't there for very long, but uh, I mean, the city's beautiful. Um, you know, despite some of the you know, controversial issues that are dominating the airwaves. What we saw on uh, Monday night in St. Louis is a community that's engaged and, and ready to do whatever it takes to change the trajectory of uh, the lives of young people in St. Louis. Uh, from the many caring adults who were in the audience, some folks retired, you know, may or may not have any connection to the education system uh, today, to the teachers in the audience, to folks who work in the community ensuring young people have caring adults in their lives. What we saw, um, in St. Louis was really, really impressive, particularly the young people there who were uh, truly engaged, truly had a voice, and I was glad to see that uh, um, they were involved in this process. Um, there was a, um, a guy there by the name of Mr. Bean who works for a, uh, in, a, in a dropout recovery program for the, for the city of St. Louis, and his story was truly inspiring um, because of the type of relationship that he was able to form with mm -hmm. young people who uh, two of them who were in the audience who spoke uh, um, really, um, you know, intensely about their experience of dropping out and, and, the, and the struggle that they took to get back into school. And what it took for them um, was not necessarily knowing how important education was or, or not necessarily that, you know, uh, school was boring, but they had a caring adult who could show them, um, you know, a new perspective, who can reaffirm um, that they had a lot to offer the world. And so, you know, that was really inspiring to see, and I, and I think that that type of resolve exists throughout the city of St. Louis, and uh, we're looking forward to what um, uh, St. Louis and the um, and the conveners there at Nine Networks uh, have to offer. Thank you, Ernest Bim. Thank you for your time. Thanks for coming back with us tonight. Thanks for your time on Monday. Thanks for all the work you do with America's Promise Alliance. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's go back.